Welcome everyone to a very exciting and amazing new event that will take place on the Hot Wheels Super 6 lane track with a gigantic curve right there in the middle. Today's competitors will be racing for the title of Grand Champion and for the trophy. So watch as today's racers battle it out and witness some crashes, smashes, and passes. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, racing fans alike, I welcome you to the very exhilarating first part of this new Hot Wheels 6 lane track. In today's competition, we will be featuring a plethora of mini racers. Here they all are wrapped up inside their packaging with each package containing at least one new model from the year 2021. We will be reviewing some of these racers later on in today's video, but first, let's go ahead and review this amazing new track. Our competitors will be starting way up here at the top and then very quickly make their way all the way down here to this enormous turn, where if they get to it, they will receive one point. Next up, our racers will go across this straightaway and have to line up for a jump and clear the canyon. After that, it's a clear drive across the finish line. And if they cross that, they will receive two points. And whoever crosses the finish line first and wins that round will receive an additional point for a total of three points. And whoever wins that set of races will move forward to compete in the Grand Championship race. Now let's go ahead and start reviewing our diecast cars that will be competing in today's set of races. In our first package, we have a picture of three really cool cars on it, along with three mini racers inside the packaging, with one of them being a very new model for the year 2021. On the back, we see the racers inside the package. Let's go ahead and get them out so we can start reviewing them. First up, we have Toe Mater. And then the next diecast car we have is Francesco Baranelli, the Italian F1 racer. His paint job resembles the Italian flag. And let's get our third car out, which is none other than Lightning McQueen. This version of the 95 is the one from the World Grand Prix. He's shown with his classic red paint and lightning bolts with a piston cup decal on the front. Now let's go ahead and grab our second package, which has that same picture of those really cool cars right there on the front. Here are our mini racers all wrapped up very nicely with that new model for the year 2021 right there. And here on the back we see pictures of the racers in the packaging. Let's go ahead and get them out. I present to you the number 43, Strip Weathers, aka The King, sponsored by Dynaco. The next car is another 95, Lightning McQueen, sponsored by Rusties. Do you all happen to know which version of the number 95 this is? If you do, go ahead and let me know in the comments below. Next up, we have a truck that is a racing official whose name is Dexter Hoover. His main colors are blue and yellow. He also has a piston cup design on both his doors and his hood. And here are racers that will be competing in the first set of races. Let's go ahead and put them out on the six lane track to get them lined up and ready to race in the first set of competition. Who will be the fastest and win? And our racers are off at full speed ahead with Dexter Hoover quickly taking first position. And oh wow, some racers get flung off the track going past that first curve. Let's go ahead and watch that second replay again just to see what happened. And so there go our racers exiting that starting point very quickly. And then what we have, it looks like both Lightning McQueens are trailing Dexter Hoover very closely like by a hair. Up in fourth place is Strip Weathers going around that turn and oh wow he gets flipped over off the track over upside down and oh no there goes a lightning mcqueen also upside down here comes the official over that jump and across the finish line and there goes lightning mcqueen flipping over and over again what amazing action that we've been seeing here folks there's tomater let's check up on our racers back on the track there's the king flipped over along with another 95 that i can't really make out which one it was then across the finish line, we have Tomater, Francesco Baranelli, the Lightning McQueen, it looks like it's the World Grand Prix one, and then we have our winner of this round, the official Dexter Hoover. Dexter Hoover has a total of three points for winning that first round. Who will be able to catch up to him, or who will stay behind? Let's go ahead and find out in our next race. <laughs> 
races off at full speed ahead with Dexter Hoover quickly pulling into first position with the number 95 trailing closely behind. There goes the jump and whoa! It looks like we got four of our racers across that canyon. Let's go ahead and watch the next replay to see what happened to our other racers. And starting off our race, it looks like Francesco Burinelli is way back there in last position. In fifth position, it looks like Toe Mater and the King are battling it out just trying to stay out of last. Oh, and now here they come. All our racers rounding that turn. And oh no, Mater's having some trouble. Who knocks into the King? The Dynaco racer flips over onto his roof. And then up here in the front, it looks like Dexter Hoover jumps over that canyon, followed by both London McQueens. And what an amazing comeback from our Italian racer. Francesco Baronelli goes from last position to fourth. Let's go ahead and check up on our racers that flipped over. Toe Mater looks fine. And then over here, it looks like Strip Weathers is flipped over upside down. I hope he's okay. Over here across the finish line, we have Francesco Baronelli, both Lady McQueens, and Dexter Hoover, the official who crossed the finish line first. Congratulations for completing that second race. And here are our standings after that second battle. We have Dexter Hoover leading by two and Strip Weathers in last position with two points. Who will win? And boom, there go our racers barreling out of the gate with Lightning McQueen quickly pulling into first position. Oh no, I spoke too soon. Someone just stole it from him. I wasn't able to see who took first. What's just happened? We need to check out our next replay to watch it again. And straight out of the game, it looks like most of our racers are starting off side by side, but Francesco Bernelli's falling behind in the last position. Up in the front, Lightning McQueen and Dexter Hoover are battling it out for first position, but it looks like it's number 95 that takes it. And now coming into that turn, it looks like Francesco Bernal is catching up, and oh no, Lightning McQueen loses his placing, and it goes to Dexter Hoover, who's rocketing into first position. Toe Mater's falling into second position with Francesco and Lightning McQueen battling it out for third. It's so close to call that this is such great action that we've seen on this very third race. Let's check out our racers. It looks like the King is back here past the turn. And then over here across the jump, we have the rest of our racers, which include Francesco Bernelli, both Lightning McQueens, Toe Mater, and our winner of the third race is none other than Dexter Hoover. And now leading by three as we go into our fourth race is none other than Dexter Hoover. It's still anyone's game. And boom, as the gate is dropped, it looks like it's Lightning McQueen rocketing forward in the first position. And oh no, he gets flipped over, just flipped over as multiple racers pass him. I have no idea what just happened and or who won, so we need to check out the next replay to find that out. And so as our race is underway, up in the front, we have Dexter Hoover and Lightning McQueen battling it out for first position, but ultimately it's the number 95 for first. As we go into that turn, no, he lost control coming out of it, flipping him over, leaving way for Francesco to catch up. Now Francesco's in first, but no, here comes Dexter Hoover battling it out. Oh, wow, by a hair. It looks like it's the official who stole the lead at the last second there. This was a very exciting race with tons of action. Let's go back. There's Lightning McQueen in the canyon as he lost his momentum from flipping over coming out of that turn. And then we have the number 43 strip weathers right over here. And along with another Lightning McQueen, Toe Mater off of the track and Francesco Bernelli who came in second. But our winner was Dexter Hoover. And here are our standings after that fourth race. Dexter Hoover leading by four. Will anyone be able to catch up? Let's find out. And the race is off with most of our competitors starting out side by side until Dexter Hoover decides to take the lead. And oh no, it looks like some of our racers got into a huge wreck coming out of that turn. Let's watch our second replay to find out what just happened. And so here are our racers, mostly starting out side by side until the racing official starts pulling into first position with Lightning Queen trailing closely behind. Here come our racers rounding up into that first turn. Here they come, and oh wow! Big trouble for Dexter Hoover and Lady McQueen there as they lose control as they start coming out of that first turn. But then, what's this? It looks like our F1 racer Francesco Bernelli lines up for the jump and he clears it as he crosses the finish line. He won an amazing comeback he just made there, followed by Lightning McQueen in second position. And then back here on the track, we have another one of our 95s way back here after the turn. And then we have Dexter Hoover. I hope they're both okay after the tumble that they took. And then there's the King. And then over here we have Mater. But then across the canyon, we have Lightning McQueen in our first place winner of this round, Francesco Baranelli, the Italian F1 racer.
And after that race, it looks like Dexter Hoover might want to watch out because it looks like Francesco is coming for him. Will Francesco be able to do it? Let's find out. And straight out of the gate, the lead goes to Dexter Hoover, who shoots in the first position. Here they come around that turn, and oh no! Dexter flips over, losing his lead, which goes to Lightning McQueen. But after that, I can't see what happened. Let's check out our next replay. And straight out of the gate, ladies and gentlemen, it looks like it's Dexter Hoover taking the lead, followed closely behind by the number 95. In third position, it looks like we have three of our racers battling it out for that place. And then in last position, we have another 95. Here come our racers entering that turn, and oh no! Big tumbles coming out of it! And the Rusty's racer takes first position, and then it looks like Francesco and Mater are battling it out for second, no, for third, but no, then here comes Francesco! He takes second, and he crosses the finish line, what an amazing comeback! And there's the Kane crossing in third position! Wow, what a very exciting race that we just witnessed here! Let's go ahead and check out some of our racers still on the track. There's Lightning McQueen, followed by Mater, and then it looks like Dexter Hoover, but he wasn't able to clear past that jump. And then across the finish line, we have the King, Francesco, and our winner, the number 95, Lightning McQueen. And here are our standings after that final race in our first set of races. It looks like our winner, leading by one, is none other than Dexter Hoover, the racing official. Now moving on to the second segment of our battle, let's start reviewing the next set of racers that will be competing in our race. Here we have a really cool picture on the packaging here, let's go ahead and look at the back where we see the names and more pictures of the cars inside. Let's go ahead and take them out so that way we can review them. I present to you Tow Mater, the tow truck from Radiator Springs and Lightning McQueen's best friend. And then we have none other than Lightning McQueen himself. The old Rusty's racer with the number 95 painted on him. And now moving on to our very last racer of this package, we have a very awesome exclusive model for the year 2021. I present to you the tractor. Featured in the first Cars movie in the Seymour Mater in Lightning McQueen No Cow Tipping, this awesome tractor is a really cool replica of the one seen in the movie. Sadly, his front wheels do not work, but his back wheels, the big ones, do. Now let's go ahead and move on to our second package of racers. Here on the front we see an awesome picture, and then here we see three more mini racers with another new model for the year 2021. On the back we see the names of the racers. Let's go ahead and get them out. I present to you Lightning McQueen. This version of Lightning McQueen is called Muddy Lightning McQueen, hence the mud all over his body. Now next up we have Fishtail. This racer was featured in the third Cars movie during the Thunder Hollow races. His number is 96 and his main colors are blue and red. And last up from this package we have a very exciting exclusive model for the year 2021. High Impact. I really like the immense detail they put into this car, putting in dents and scratches. Remember, our racers will switch positions at the start of each new race. And our racers are on at full speed with Fish Joe quickly pulling in the first position. Here they come rounding that turn, and oh no, it looks like someone just fell off the track! I have no idea who it was, but we need to watch that replay again to find out who won and to see who fell off that track. And starting off our race, it looks like our racers are kind of side by side. It looks like kind of Mater and Fishtail battling it out for first position with the Lightning McQueen trying to get in there in second. Oh, as they start entering the turn, it looks like our racers take more of a position, and oh no, there goes Lightning McQueen flying off the track, and no! There goes Fishtail spinning out of control, giving way for Lightning McQueen, the money version, to take first position and clear that jump as he crosses the finish line. And oh my, wow! The number 95, the money version, spins out as he stops. Way back here on the track, we have the tractor, and then Lightning McQueen, who fell over off the track. And then over here, we have the number 12, and Fishtail. And then across the jump, across the finish line, we have Muddy Lightning McQueen, who is our winner of this first race. Congratulations! And here are our standings. Muddy Lightning McQueen leads by two. Our racers will now switch positions to keep things fair. And our racers are off at full speed. And oh no, Tractor stalls out right out of the gate. And oh wow, someone just fell off the track around that turn. Here come our racers coming up across that jump as they all cross the finish line. Let's check out the second replay to see who won. 
And as our race starts off, it looks like all of our racers are blasting off to leave Tractor in the dust right back there at that starting line. Let's go ahead and catch up with them as they start preparing to round that turn. It looks like Light McQueen and Fishtail are battling out for first position. Oh no! It looks like the number 95 just fell off the track. And now Mater's having some trouble, which is pumping on his brakes. And here comes Fishtail coming from behind. He's... He's going, he's gaining, he's stolen first position while all our other racers are trying to catch up. He clears the jump and he crosses the finish line followed by Mater and High Impact in third. And I can't see exactly who our fourth position racer was, but let's go ahead and check up on the rest of our competitors. Here at the starting line, we have the tractor. And then all the way down here, uh, the turn is the number 95. It looks like it might be the Muddy Lightning McQueen. Now going forward, across to that jump, oh no, right before the jump is Lightning McQueen. And then across that jump, we have High Impact, Fishtail, and Mater. And the winner of this second race goes to the number 96, Fishtail. Congratulations. And here are our standings after that second race. It looks like Fishtail and McQueen are tied up with four. Will anyone be able to catch up or who will break the tie? Let's find out. And the race is off with Tractor trying a new strategy by going backwards on the track. And wow, it looks like someone just fell on the track. And no, wow, someone just flipped over. Oh my goodness, this is so exciting. I didn't even notice who won. Let's go ahead and check out the next replay to find out. And here come our racers zooming and speeding down that track. Oh no, it looks like Tractor's having some trouble. There he goes, he falls over. Oh, that's what I call Tractor tipping, folks. And now up in the front, it looks like, wow, there goes Fishtail. He just couldn't handle the pressure. He flips over. No, wow, there goes Muddy Lightning McQueen flipping over crossing over lane lines and this leaves Mater to steal first position leaving everyone in the dust as he crosses the finish line what a very exciting and entertaining race but it's not over yet because here come the rest of the racers closing that gap now let's go ahead and check up on our competitors there's tractor and here's fishtail off of the track I hope that he's okay after that big tumble. And now over here, we have Muddy Lightning McQueen flipped over on top of his roof. I hope he's okay. And then what happened? It looks like another 95 just didn't have the momentum to clear the jump. And then here's Toe Mater, the winner of this race. And here are our standings after that third round. It looks like Mater has six points, which puts him in first position overall, and he leads by one. And in second place, it looks like it's tied with a number of five points. It's still anyone's game, and also, just to be fair, let's go ahead and give Tractor a head start. That way he can still be in the game. And now here come our racers pushing pedal to the meadows. They quickly close that gap between them and Tractor. Here they come around in that turn, and whoa! It looks like multiple racers crashing simultaneously. They just lost control coming out of that turn. Let's go ahead and check out our next replay to watch that action again. Ready? Go! And here come our racers straight out of that gate. It looks like our first three competitors are side by side. And then in the back, it looks like High Impact and Muddy Lightning McQueen are battling it out. And there they go, all of our racers passing up Tractor as they get ready to enter that turn. Here they come. It looks like Lightning McQueen's in the back. And oh, wow! The number 12 flipped over. And the number 96 is flipped over. Muddy Lightning McQueen is now flipped over. And Toe Mater is flipped over onto his side, leaving way for the regular Lightning McQueen to catch up. Here he comes, lining up for that jump. Will he clear it? Let's watch. Oh, wow! He just barely clears it, and he crosses the finish line. What exciting race that we've had. Let's check up on all of our competitors. Tractor's over here, and then we have High Impact, followed by what looks like to be Toe Mater on his side, and then Fishtail on his back, and along with Muddy Lightning McQueen also on his back. I hope they're all okay. And then our winner is the number 95, Lightning McQueen. Here are our standings after that race. It looks like in first position overall, we have a tie with seven points. High Impact and Toe Mater. Who will be the first to break this tie? <laughs> And there go our racers shooting out of that gate, except for Tractor, what happened? He's back there at the starting line. I guess he forgot to hit the accelerator. Oh, wow, that was exciting stuff. Let's go ahead and check out our next replay to catch up on the rest of our racers. And there go our competitors barreling down the track at high speeds. It looks like it may be Muddy Lightning McQueen between Mater and Fishtail battling out for first position. In the back, we 
we have regular light to be queen. Here they come rounding that turn. Oh, wow, there they go. It looks like High Impact flipped over. He couldn't come out of that turn, along with Fishtail also flipping over and losing control. And now it's up to Mater and McQueen fighting for the finish line. And there they go. They cross it. And then it looks like it's Mater by a hair. And then back here at the start, we have Tractor, who forgot that the race even started. Now going all the way down here to the straightaway part of the track, we have Fishtail, and we have High Impact flipped over. I hope they're okay. And then it looks like Lightning McQueen fell into the canyon. And the two racers that crossed the finish line happened to be Muddy95 and Toe Mater, who is the winner of this race. And here are our standings as we move into the final round. Mater leads by two at 10 points. Will he win? And there go our racers as our battle begins. Tractor's trying that same strategy that he tried before. Oh wow, Mater's lost it. He's out of this race. It looks like it might be Fishtail and McQueen. I have no idea. Let's go ahead and check out the next replay to find out. Tractor's having some trouble at the start of our second replay. He's going backwards, but he's going very slowly as the rest of our racers leave him in the dust. It looks like in the back we have regular McQueen. And then in the front, it looks like it might be Fishtail and Moneyland McQueen. Mater just does not even get into the curve. He must have hit something to block him off. But now here we have Fishtail and McQueen lining up for that jump. They clear it, and it's Fishtail, ladies and gentlemen, crossing that finish line first ball by Muddy Lightning McQueen. What a very exciting win done by Fishtail, but will it be enough to make him advance to the final round? Let's check out our racers and then we'll find out. Tractor's over here coming down from the track. We have Mater who's flipped over onto other competitors who we'll see in a different video. I hope that they're all okay. Now moving on, we have McQueen, the number 95, along with High Impact. And then across the canyon, across the finish line, we have Muddy Lightning McQueen and Fishtail, who happens to be the winner of our final round. And here we are, ladies and gentlemen, the results of today's second round of races. It looks like leading by one point and moving forward to the championship round is Tomater. Thank you, everyone, for watching today's video. I hope that you thoroughly enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and give us a like, subscribe, and remember to share with your friends. And also, stay tuned for the next exciting episode of the Mini Racers Tournament, featuring on the Hot Wheels 6 lane track. And don't forget to let me know which diecast model was your favorite. Which part of today's video did you like the most? Go ahead and let me know in the comments below. And remember, folks, keep racing!